I actually have a story that's that's very much a monitoring and efficiency and optimization story. So I think that that fits well with the theme of how to be more sustainable. It's it's been published. It's on our website. It's available. We actually did a project with the New York City subway system. So if you don't know much about New York, the best way to get around the city is absolutely the subway. It's one of the most heavily traveled systems in the world, and they use a third rail for picking up 600 volt. DCs for the for the traction motors on the subway cars. And a good chunk of that system is actually above ground, believe it or not. There's parts of the system. And the issue comes in the winter. If you get precipitation at the right temperature, it can literally melt on top of or freeze on top of rather the, the DC third rail, breaks the connection and electrical connection with the cars and the train stop. Well, <laughs> the system's on a three minute window that's a completely unacceptable failure can cascade to literally millions of lost dollars of productivity if the train stops the approach was that somebody would get in a pickup truck and drive around to all the substances for these rail heaters in october and then come back out in april and turn them back off (laughs) if you're thinking like me holy heck if you've experienced a northeast winter there's a lot of days that are above freezing blue skies for two weeks in a row you know obviously ice is not a concern so we worked on a project there. I love this story because it's not just the monitoring side, but basically using wireless radios, some temperature monitoring, and of course, power monitoring to optimize when we switch. We didn't change anything about the rail heaters. It's the same technology that was installed in the 1920s. But by automating and monitoring that, we're talking about a cost savings sometimes of $25,000 per day when the system is wow. turning off the rail heaters. Collectively, the project has saved a New York City taxpayer is like $40 million. This is a, an awesome, awesome story. Yeah, and it's simple stuff. We're monitoring the, the rail heater to make sure it turns on. We verify the operation. We monitor the ambient temperature and we use you know communications to send that information back to a central control station where they can turn us on, turn it off. So that's an awesome project. Really cool. Like I said, we have a white paper on it. Yeah.